Hey guys, Abraxas here. I'm going to be playing some Universe Sandbox 2. So I have a suggestion from Personal Idiot 04. Actually, I'm continuing off his suggestion yesterday, but he made an updated comment saying he was expecting a more, uh, or less eccentric and quite a bit smaller. So, uh, I don't know exactly where, but, um, I'm thinking of continuing off the suggestion by going over to my performance simulation and it was orbiting next to Mercury yesterday. I'm wondering what would happen if Jupiter orbited between Earth and Venus. Would it be much more destructive? Let's find out. So let's go ahead and load up that performance simulation wherever it might be. There it is. Okay, so here is our performance simulation. Let's go ahead and grab Jupiter, which is right here, and make it orbit between Venus and Earth. And something tells me this might not end well. So let's go ahead and see what happens. I'm gonna keep Earth selected, mainly because that's what we're mostly gonna be focusing on. But who knows, other planets might get thrown out. And let's speed up time and let this time lapse continue. Oh. <laughs> we got some immediate, immediate results here. Actually, what we wanna do is let's go ahead and make Jupiter retrograde like yesterday. Here we go. And... Wow, Earth is already way out there. Let's go ahead and speed it up to one year per second. A little bit too fast. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so, let the time lapse commence. Okay, so I have a theory here. I'm thinking because of what's happening here. Let me go ahead and just slow down time so I can show it a little bit better. What happens when you have Jupiter orbiting retrograde is there's less time for the communication of gravity, I guess you could say, of Jupiter passing Earth. So it passes it actually faster because they're both moving in different directions. So I think this is actually having a less significant effect. Because when I started it there, Earth was dramatically affected almost immediately. So there's less going on each time Jupiter actually passes Earth. I think the problem here is the fact that Jupiter is actually orbiting retrograde. It might actually be making this, I don't know, kind of stable. So what I'm going to do, or at least make it happen over a longer period of time. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to... Uh, Oh well, I have Earth selected. Don't want that. I'm going to uh, flip Jupiter back and let's see if it has any significant effect. So let me go ahead and speed up the game here and we'll resume the time lapse. Oh, look at that. Almost immediately. Okay, that's getting a little bit more dramatic.
Here's kind of the part where I invalidate the test by leaving the other Jupiter in. Well, that was super interesting that the, uh, I guess, inclination, the fact that Jupiter was orbiting retrograde in the center there was actually the uh, reason why the orbits would not go unstable. That's really cool. I never would have thought about that. Okay, so I think that's going to conclude this experiment. It can go further, and I do think eventually Venus and Earth will be ejected out. I don't think very much is going to happen to Mercury or Mars. I think they're orbiting pretty much the same. It can only go so far with its gravity. It's probably only going to about a circle right here. And of course, there is a gravitational influence on pretty much any planet in the system from this Jupiter in particular. But it's not going to be nearly as significant as it was to Venus and Mercury. Venus and uh, Earth. So, yeah. The uh, effects on Mars and Mercury are probably going to happen over millions and millions of years, which I don't have time to actually simulate. I think it's inevitable that Earth and Venus are eventually going to get ejected out, from what I can tell. But, yeah, I was just kind of curious uh, what was going wrong with the other experiment, I guess, yesterday, you could say. Uh, I feel like there should have been more of an effect, and I think it's primarily because Jupiter was actually orbiting retrograde, which is uh, kind of a very unusual result, but uh, yeah, uh, I, I, didn't, I didn't personally expect that, but that's what seems to have caused it, because once I had it orbiting between Earth and Venus, it was not really doing much until I flipped the orbit back to a normal orbit. That's because I think Jupiter orbits with Earth and Venus a little bit longer than if it was retrograde and has a faster effect on it. But I could be wrong about that. I think uh, when it orbits retrograde, all it's really doing is just slowing the planets down. And not being nearly as destructive, you could say, to the planets. But who knows? I think uh, that was a pretty cool result. And I like the uh, very high inclination of these orbits that are going on here. In fact, Mercury is also a little bit more inclined, so it is actually affecting Mercury in some way. Mars, uh, not so much, but uh, yeah, if you guys liked the video, please leave it a like, and if you want to see more videos like this, please do subscribe, it really does help, and I'll see you guys in the next one.